Hey folks, Carol Ann here from SassyTownHouseLiving.com and today I'm super excited because I am going to install and review for you the Surfboard Max Wi-Fi 6 Mesh System. And a few specs before we continue. This Wi-Fi Mesh System has speeds up to 6.6 .6 GPPS. It also has 400% more speed and range than your standard 802.11 AC Wi-Fi. This two unit system will provide 5,500 square feet of coverage, which is phenomenal. And inside of here, we have a dual pack with um, an extender. It has a mesh ext extender, so you get a router and a mesh extender. It's dedicated third gigabyte band for backhaul between max routers. And it's perfect for gigabyte internet speeds. Setup is easy. It's done through an app. And what we're going to do is unbox it first. I'm going to show you what it looks like. This is a new product from Aris. And it's, again, their Surfboard Max Mesh Wi-Fi 6 system. So let me get it unboxed. I'll show you what it looks like. And then I'm going to do some speed tests after I install it. So I have to say that they're absolutely beautiful so far as I can see in design. And they're not that weighty. They're pretty light. So let's take some of this plastic covering off here. And as you can see on the bottom here, we have our LAN and our WAN. And of course, power plug goes there. So let's do the same to the other one. And there you have it. And on the bottom, we have the same LAN, WAN, and power cord. So let's see what comes in the box. So we have two little boxes inside of them. It's probably Ethernet cord and a power cord. And that's exactly correct. So we have a power cord here for one unit, a power cord for the other, and just some cable. So what I'm going to do is connect this to my modem, and then I'm going to place the other one downstairs and use that as an extender. And after I'm done setting it up, I'll be back to show you what that looks like. So I just wanted to show you on the back of the box, you can see here, um, this also works with Alexa too, which is pretty cool. So you can use um, Alexa to enable like a guest Wi-Fi if you have it set up. So I really like that feature that you can use it with Alexa. And as you can see, it also has a wizard to install the app and set it up. And I'm really super excited because the specs are incredible. So um, I'll, of course, run a lot of the important specs across the screen so you could see exactly what they are. Of course, it's compatible with all of your Internet service providers, and you can connect it um, with your existing modem. It has a quad-core ARM A7 Cortex processor delivering a total system power of 6,600 MPPS, which is really awesome. I'm super excited to get this installed, and I believe this is the latest addition in the Aris um, Surfboard Max lineup. I'm super excited to get started. Now, my current plan is what's called the unlimited data plan, and I'm supposed to get up to a gig download and 40 Mbps on the upload. Now, I averaged about 628 on the download, and it was pretty much online exactly 40.4 Mbps on the upload. I'm a little short on the download, but I have noticed that in the past I do tend to get varying speeds um, the fastest I think I've ever seen were numbers in the 700s so that's pretty much standard for the kind of speeds that I currently get right now okay so I ran a speed test on speedtest.net as well 
And here I ran a little bit faster at 741 on the download. So it's always interesting just to run it on a few different sites and see what the results are. But typically these are the speeds that I get uh, depending on the website that I use. But this is pretty much in line with what I get between anywhere in the 600s and 700s. But I just wanted to show you guys uh, on speedtest.net what it what the speeds were coming in at. Okay, so I'm back after installing and I'm going to run a post speed test and just see how it goes. So of course I'm using the same website from my ISP just to make sure that we benchmark things exactly the same and then I'll do another speed test using speedtest.net. So here we go. Okay, so as you can see, my upload speed's about the same, but if you look at my download speeds, it's insanely increased. I have 853.9 Mbps on my download, and I think before, and I'll pull that up right now to verify, I was in the 600s. So that's markedly, insanely <laughs> different and I'm super excited about that because I never got speeds like this with my other router my Netgear router now my Netgear router was about two years old but still I should have been able to get speeds like this never was so am I super stoked yes I am absolutely thrilled now I'm going to run a speed test on speedtest.net just to make sure that we have um, a good benchmark from before and after. Okay, now I'm on speedtest.net and I'm going to run another speed test and we'll see what the results of that is. And so far I can tell that it's running much, much faster even on speedtest.net. Now I think I had 8.53 on my ISP's website. Let's see what we get here. So as you can see, again, I am well above 800 on speedtest.net. So super excited. I got um, much better speeds now with my Surfboard Max and I, I'm just super excited about it and I wanted to share the results right in front of your eyes with you. So before you install your Surfboard router, you need to check to see if you have additional Ethernet cables that you're currently using in your router right now. So as you can see on the Surfboard Max, there are only two plugs in the back, two Ethernet slots in the back. So if you're currently using a lot more Ethernet cable in your router right now, you're going to want to buy a switch. Now, I got an 8-port switch, but you can get a 6-port or a 12, whatever you need. I got this on Amazon. I'll put the link to it below. It was like under 20 bucks, so it was definitely a good, good uh, deal. And it's by Netgear, whom I trust. So, I'm going to be installing my Surfboard Max, and I'm also going to be installing this switch with it. And I'll show you what that process looks like. Okay, so this is post-setup. I now have my Surfboard Max installed and the installation process was really easy. All you need to do is follow the wizard on the app on your cell phone and it literally walks you through the process. So that was pretty easy to follow and very intuitive. Now over here we have my modem and of course we have the modem plugged into the WAN on my Surfboard. And then over to the left here, I have my switch. Um, as I mentioned before, I got a switch because I have my computer, first of all, hardwired. Now, while you can run wirelessly to your surfboard, um, it's always better to hardwire your connection, your internet connection. Now, while your um, wireless connection is stable, it's just a lot better when it's hardwired. 
as you guys know, hard wiring is always the best way to go. So I've always had mine hardwired for like ever and ever, and I kept it that way. And the way that I kept it that way was by getting a switch. So as I said before, the switch is pretty inexpensive. It's only like 20 bucks, and this is an eight port switch. And I currently have three of those ports used up. So I could have got a four port, port one, but I decided to go with the eight port because it was a few dollars difference. And it's very simple to do. You just plug the port in, it goes into the LAN on the surfboard max, and then it's as simple as that. So that's my setup, and I just wanted to show it to you and let you see how clean and neat everything is. When I had my Netgear back here, it was this big monster and with antennas, and it was such a mess. Now everything is nice and neat and orderly, and I love that about my surfboard as well. The design is very sleek, very ergonomic, and I absolutely love it. So I want to just quickly show you the underneath so you can see what it looks like. And this is where my splitter went in. And of course, this is the cable going from the modem into the WAN. And it's that easy. You just plug it in with your power cord, plug your modem in first. And then if you don't have a switch, you can just plug and hardwire your computer right into the LAN port. It's that easy. I love everything about my surfboard. It's so easy to install. The speeds are incredible. You notice them right off the bat. And I have only good things to say about my experience so far. So, of course, I'll have the links to where you can get one of these gorgeous babies for yourself. Now, as I mentioned also, this is a new iteration, a new model from Aris. This is one of the le uh, least expensive I believe it comes in at $400. The other two models before this are a lot more money, and this was designed to be for the home user experience. It's more for your, your home user type of person and not so much like if you're running a big network, although you could use it, absolutely. But I think it was designed, for, after I spoke to some of their tech people, it was designed for the home user in mind, and I can see why. Installation was super easy. Everything about it, super easy. You don't need to be a techie geek to get through it. So, as I was saying, I'll have the link to where you can pick this model up as well as the other two models. And if you have any questions, of course, feel free to leave them below. I'll make sure I answer each and every one of them. And, of course, if you can, subscribe to my channel. I would greatly appreciate it. It means the world to me when you do. And thumbs up this video. And also, you can click that notification bell so you can be notified every time we upload new content. Thank you so much for watching, and have yourself a great and safe day.